What is the move, YouTube? I am, and this is Smashing the Bash Reviews. Here where we bring the hammer to a topic up in this thing. So, man, let's talk about family. And Fast and the Furious 9 came out this weekend, man. Whew. Ah, okay. Guys, let's, let's, let's be real here about something, man. Like, if you don't, if you're being too logical with this movie, then it's going to, like, shift you in a certain direction, okay? All right, for me, my experience was cool. I went to go see it in the 4DX. It was my very, very first time, man. I should have, like, recorded, man. It was like being on a freaking roller coaster, and it kept me engaged with the movie. You know, I'm, I'm I'm all rocking like this the whole time and everything, like the whole time and lights and everything and all that other stuff. Like it was like, I don't know, a different, different kind of experience. So I'm cool I had a chance to go see that. You guys should too if you haven't done it already. But yeah, man, my very first time doing doing that whole experience, I didn't know what to expect. So um, I saw a recommendation for another channel too that they saw it this way, but they didn't exactly go into detail so i was like you know what let me go try it and everything but anyways back to the movie man like the explanations and everything and how things happen like i like the backstory and everything and how things were um for for some time and everything like you know fast and the furious like this whole franchise is drift away from the whole racing aspect and it just became a whole bunch about missions actions and explosions okay all right it all started with the dang on i think five is when it really started getting ridiculous with the whole yo we're gonna take a vote and everything and then like the never-ending runway that was on a 10-minute runway and then now here they are and i mean i don't want to give like a spoiler away but i'm thinking i'm pretty sure everybody knows about it they're they're taking it to other atmospheres let's say that so, the explanations behind certain deaths and disappearances and everything, there's one particular death that I was not, like, not cool with, like, far as when it came to Han and stuff. It just really didn't make any sense, man. Um, so, what's going to happen in 10? Giselle's coming back? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, let's see, the guy that was running with them from the first one and then he showed up in the fifth one, is he coming back too? Like, we've gotten all a whole bunch of... Um, surprising resurrections going on here um the it, again man the action and stuff man you can't be too logical with this stuff like there's so much stuff that in real life like this stuff just wouldn't be possible period like even you want to put in the physics and logic and all that other stuff anyways nah all right so let me get to the point about this and family all right to decide whether or not i want to smash bash or go neutral on this I'm giving it a smash. All right. Um, good. I didn't go in there with like, oh, this is supposed to go this way or it's supposed to go that way. Nah, I'm good with what it was. Take it for what it was. It's an action movie. Like, you're going to have explosions and stuff. I mean, there was one little part in there that I was like, okay, like, look, man, even with this guy's caliber of fitness, like some stuff wouldn't even happen. But okay, let's take it out the whole aspect all right guys let me know what you thought about fast and furious 9 what you thought about the franchise so far i want to hear your comments post them below and don't forget to subscribe and share guys much love thank you so much and i'll catch you on the next video till the next time